James Palms here. I'm uh, coming to you from inside my house. We just got a little snow last night. Cheers, it's a beautiful afternoon here. I had part of the day off of work here. So I was just letting these guys, this is a Chinese fan palm, Livestone of Chinensis, just letting these guys get a little sun. I just took them out of my little grow closet here. And uh, I wanted, had to water them because I don't water them all at once because there's so many. So I watered these ones and then I was letting them uh, get some sun before I put them back away. But I had a quick video here about spider mites and palm trees. So the first uh, question I get asked here is that uh, every time somebody brings in their Christmas palm here, they, anybody that buys one of these, they bring it inside and they think it's going to do fine. And uh, it will do fine inside your house. Uh, they really actually don't need a lot of light. They'll uh, do fine in low light situations. And uh, they'll actually do okay with uh, drier temperatures. They, I think they'd prefer a bit more humidity, but they, they will still tolerate it. Um, and as you can see, this one here, it doesn't have as many leaves as it did in the spring. And you know, at first I was thinking, oh, perhaps I had this vent blowing heat on it and it was drying them out, drying them out, which it, it might have been doing it a bit. But the thing that I learned about these palms and which I hear from everyone, every single person says, that I know that has one of these um, says the exact same thing or I look at theirs and I can tell. Uh, if you have these anywhere and you bring it into your house, it has spider mites on it. Um, they, it's not a question, it has them on it. I promise you there's spider mites on it. Uh, unless you've killed them. So if you don't know what spider mites are, or you didn't do anything, you have them on it and they will kill it and they will kill it fairly quickly. It'll take a month or two, but uh, they will, they will eat the entire plant. So these right here have a wonderful little fuzz, sort of like a dust, like a hair on the underside of these leaves and they just love it. Like if you have Mexican fan palms like these or like this one here, you will not have any spider mites underneath here. It's a smooth, very smooth, kind of glossy underneath. There's not that many leaves. Uh, there's not like a great spot uh, for them to go. Maybe they would go if they were desperate, but I've never brought one of these in and had spider mites on it. Um, now, when I brought this into my little grow closet, this was completely covered, but I didn't notice because they are almost microscopic. I didn't really look. I hadn't had a problem with spider mites before because I hadn't brought these type of plants into my house. Um, but if you, it, and I'd only mostly grown mine from seeds, ones I was bringing inside. But if you looked and you had have brought them in, or prior to bringing them in, sorry, you could have sprayed them off with an insectal soap or something, you could get rid of them. But I put these in my grow closet, and then even after these were fully infested, I had another one that I was completely 100% the worst. I had to cut it down so that there wasn't even a single leaf on it. Um, so it's just a spear on both of them. So basically, they were inside the grow closet and they basically gave spider mites to every one of my plants. So then it was an absolute nightmare to get rid of. I had to three or four different times uh, completely uh, pesti use pesticides to get rid of them, which I'll show you the pesticide that I use. So I use this Safer's Endol, and this is what, you, what I would use, I would recommend. This is a miticide insecticide, and this is not a soap. This is an actual pesticide, and this is available even in Canada, where a lot of stuff isn't available, and this does kill them. This will kill spider mites. You can get rid of them, like I did at first, because before I bought this, I just mixed a bit of, all you need is a bit of uh, Dawn dish soap, and just mix it into a spray, uh, a spray thing like this. You only need a few tablespoons. Mix it into your spray thing with just water, and spray the underneath of them just completely soak the entire plant. And uh, you can damage some of the foliage on some plants. I haven't found that with any palm tree, but uh, I only do it on palms. So uh, actually, and I did it on a hibiscus. So, but basically you can coat the entire plant in it and you won't have any problems at all uh, with regular soap from any palm that I have. I've coated every palm that I, that I know in it. So I did the soap first and the soap will kill them um, and it is good. But if you use this, you'll get rid of and you really soak your whole plant and you spray it on the soil and everything, you'll also get rid of your aphids. You won't 100% get rid of them a million, but you'll you'll decimate them and you won't notice if you have nearly as many little aphids and little uh, fungus gnats and things cruising around. You'll, you'll just notice they cut down huge on them. So that's what I did and it cut down on them a lot. Um, and if you wanna get rid of them, basically I recommend you spray it 
with either the Dawn dish soap or something like this. If you use this and you do it in a confined space or confined room, or you, if it's a small enough plant or whatever, you can bag it in a, uh, like a garbage bag or something. And you basically can gas it as well. This, most of them, like if it's the insectal soap, it needs to contact the, the plant. But this stuff here, it's kind of pretty toxic and the, the insecticide, and it actually gets in the air and it like it stings and I believe that it kind of gasses them. So I'm not 1 million percent sure, but from what I've heard and what I've read, it will actually kill them so if they're in the air. So if you can get the whole plant covered and then sort of bag it up or cover it for an hour or what I did is mine literally, they're in a small closet and I soaked every plant in there and then the fumes were just sort of radiating and caking in there. And, uh, and I basically had no aphids for like three weeks. I didn't notice a single one um, in my little grow room, which is crazy because of how many plants I have. You're always gonna have little fungus gnats unless you uh, are really religious and you never brought them outside and things. But uh, so I noticed like almost none right away. So that definitely, uh, definitely helps. So, so you know what, just if you notice certain palms, if you bring a Mexican fan palm in and out, uh, it's very easy to clean it. You know, you're gonna have, if they're smaller, like even if it's a palm like this size, you're only gonna have like seven or eight, 10 leaves, whatever, and they're big flat surface. You can spray them, spray them off with water. Even if you wanna mix a bit of soap in there, a little bit of soap, Dawn dish soap and a little water before you bring it in, day or two before you bring it in, you'll be fine. Um, but with these guys, it, they're tough. I mean, it, it's hard to get them off of all of these. So you have to make sure you do every single leaflet. And if you do this maybe two or three times before you bring it in, you shouldn't have any problem and the palm will be fine and it will survive. This one is going to survive. Um, the other one is, uh, it's definitely gonna survive still, but probably, but it looks like crap and it's gonna take a while to grow it out. I don't know, I might just give it away or throw it away or whatever, uh, just cause I don't really care and I have a lot of plants and you know, it's just, uh, it's tough because you don't want ones that you really have to take care of too much. So this is, you know, it's difficult to get rid of them. It's not, it's not effortless. So if you want to just uh, have a plant that you just can bring in whenever, it, whenever it gets cold and put it back on your patio in the spring, this is not really the plant for you, which a lot of people buy them, you know, because they're very cheap and they look very tropical and they're like, oh, perfect. It's small enough. I can bring it inside my house. So then they bring it in and then they give spider mites to their other plants and then it ends up dying anyways or whatever if you don't know what a spider mite is. Um, but for those of you who don't know what they are, I can try to show you some dead ones. I definitely don't have any live ones. But if you go on the underneath of your, on underneath here, you'll see tiny little specks and you have to look very closely. Now mine were, were like a reddish color. It depends on them, uh, what your spider mites are. There's many different kinds, I believe but mine were like a sort of a brownish red and you basically look on the underneath of the leaf and if you notice these little dots, like, I can't seem to find, oh, here's some dead ones right here, I think, yes. There, so those tiny little dots there, those are the dead ones, those little like blackish dots. So they basically, they're just little dots like that, but you can actually see them moving there. You, if you don't, you might need a magnifying glass. It's almost to the point where you need a magnifying glass, but you can just barely see them with the naked eye. And uh, just uh, if you notice your leaves all dying off, I mean, check. And if you notice definitely little bits of webbing, like looking like little mini spider webs and stuff, then you definitely have them. And the quicker you can get it under control, the better it is. So try to get it under control right away. That's what I recommend. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, I mean, uh, leave them down below. But uh, this is basically how to get rid of them. I would recommend using, you can just use Dawn dish soap. Lots of videos out there showing you how to do it. Um, if you want though, just make sure you do it early and do it as a preventative. Do it as a preventative before you bring them in and you shouldn't have any problems because when they come inside, they're gonna flare up like a pack of hemorrhoids or whatever. They're just gonna flare uh, and become a huge nuisance and kill it. Outside, they won't really kill it because they're just kind of there and they kind of linger. They, they, they can't battle the elements. They can't reproduce that much. They're getting too much rain. They're getting too much humidity, too much cold nights. Once you bring them inside your nice warm, dry house, they're gonna flourish like never before. So get rid of yours. Sorry this video is longer. Uh, I guess it probably could have been shorter. Some people complain it's too short. Some people complain it's too long. Some people say I talk too loud. Some people say I talk too quiet. So I'm sure you complain about everything. But uh, anyways, leave your comments down below and I'll try to make adjustments in future videos. Thanks for watching guys, later.